What's up everybody, welcome to my review for the Muppet Select Statler and Waldorf, but before we get into that, I wanted to uh, draw a name for the giveaway that I talked about in my Bunsen and Beaker review, so we're going to go through this old school style with the fishbowl, I'm going to stir these up, let's see here, I want to stir them up really good actually, and let's see who the lucky winner is, let's see here, we're going to open this up, uh, and it's upside down and that's the lucky winner so congratulations to Kenta Kristofsky I think you're really gonna like this set uh, hit me up with your information I'll send this right out to you and a uh, big thanks to everybody that left a comment on the Bunsen and Beaker review and participated in this little giveaway this is really fun I really hope uh, to do some more in the future and uh, yeah that's it make sure you stick around for the Statler and Waldorf review and if you like that be sure to like comment subscribe and peace What's up everybody, welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review and today we'll be looking at the Muppet Select Statler and Waldorf from Diamond Select Toys. And here's a quick look at the packaging. You can see them both right there and you can see the big balcony that they come with and one of the chairs. And on the side of the package you got a shot of them posing. And on the back you see Statler and Waldorf and the rest of the figures in the wave. And the packaging looks really good, but it isn't collector friendly, so you can't open it up and put the figures back or anything like that. But it's cool that it matches the rest of the Muppets figures, so I like that. And now let's look at the articulation on Statler. His head is able to go side to side. And then it could he could look down about that much. And then he could only look up about that much. So not much up and down. But it can uh, rotate around a little bit. And then he has a torso joint that allows him to swivel. And it does uh, tilt a little bit to the side. And it can crunch a little bit too, but not very much. And then he could crunch back about that much. Get him to stand up straight. And for his arms, they come out to the side. And then they could go all the way around. And then he has a single jointed elbow that has a swivel. And then his hand has a swivel and a hinge. And let's see, for his legs, they come out to the front about that much. And then they could come out to the side uh, that much there. This leg works a little bit better, but yeah, it could come out a pretty good amount on the side. And then he has a single jointed knee that has a swivel. And then let's see on his feet here, they can swivel side to side and they could rock back and forth and they could tilt down that much and tilt up that much. So he has a really good amount of articulation, especially in his legs. That's pretty surprising. And then for Waldorf, his head can go side to side And it could look down about that much and look up about that much. Not much up and down on these guys. And it could tilt side to side a little bit or kind of swing side to side. And his torso joint gets a little more movement than Statler. So it could go back about that much. And it could go forward about that much. And it could also swivel and tilt side to side. So his moves a pretty good amount. And for his arms, they're able to go all the way around and they come out to the side. And then he has single jointed elbows that also have a swivel. And then his hands have a swivel and a hinge. So his arms are pretty much exactly the same as Statler's, but his legs are very different. His leg can only move like that on the hip, but it does go forward a nice amount, but it can't come to the side at all. So that kind of that's kind of strange that they chose to do it different on the two figures, and it could come back about that much. And for his knee, he has a single jointed knee that has a swivel. And then for his feet, they can swivel side to side. 
and they can also rock a little bit. And then his foot could tilt down about that much and then tilt up about that much. So they both have a pretty good amount of articulation. And for the accessories, of course, they come with the balcony. And then they come with two chairs. And let's take a closer look at the balcony here. All this is sculpted. All this is sculpted. We've got some more sculpted details here on the side. And there's some sculpted details along the cushion here. And uh, yeah, it looks really, really good. The paint kind of looks strange on the curtains. Looks like it's not as nice right there as it should be. But uh, yeah, overall the thing looks really, really good. And it's huge. And then here's a closer look at the chairs. Uh, they're just plastic chairs. And they have some red and gold paint. The cushion on the back is painted red. Uh, yeah, they, they look very cool. I like on the back here, it kind of looks like real gold. It has like a real gold effect to it. And uh, yeah, this looks very nice. And here's a look at the two of them inside the balcony sitting on the chairs. And that's dope. I really like the fact that it came with this balcony. It, it, I mean, it kind of would have sucked to have these two guys without the balcony. And they look really, really cool in there. So I'm really happy about that. And then here's a quick look at Kermit, Fozzie, and Gonzo hanging out in the balcony. And just to give you an idea of the size of the balcony, here's a look at Pizza Spider-Man from Marvel Legends and DC Icons Flash hanging out in the balcony. And then here's the Ultimate Spider-Man Peter Parker and Ultimate Miles Morales Spider-Man hanging out in the balcony. And since the Muppet figures are 7 inch scale figures, I wanted to show what a couple 7 inch figures look like in here. And uh, yeah, they were, I was able to fit them in there, but I definitely had to squeeze them in there. It wasn't as easy as getting like the Marvel Legends figures in there. And for some size comparisons, here they are next to Figure Arts Donatello and Marvel Select Black Panther. And here's a look at them next to DC Icons Flash and Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. And here they are next to Loyal Subjects Leonardo and a Bandai Baymax figure. And here's a look at them hanging out with the other Muppets figures that I've gotten so far. And they look very cool. It's going to be awesome to have them all set up with all their different accessories and stuff like that. And yeah, they're, so, they're really cool so far. And let's take a closer look at Statler's head sculpt. And yeah, they nailed the head sculpt, of course. It looks perfect. It's got that big, huge nose and big, huge chin. It looks really great. And it's cool because it doesn't look like a person or anything. It looks exactly like a Muppet, you know? It's really cool. Like, the skin looks like a... doesn't look like a human skin. It looks like it's, like, fuzzy or something, you know? It's very cool. And uh, the eyebrows seem like the paint's a little bit sloppy, but his eyebrows are supposed to be crazy anyway, so I don't really mind. And as for the rest of the figure, they did a really good job on the sculpt. Uh, he's pretty much perfect. I can't really find any flaws or anything that I disliked about the sculpt. They've got a lot of nice details in his suit, the buttons and the paint and everything looks really nice. Everything's clean and crisp, so looks very cool. On the back, there's not too much going on, but his suit does look nice. The only thing where I had some slight chipping was in the wrist here, like in the inside joint, but that's really not a big deal at all. Just a little bit of paint rub, but yeah, he's very cool. They did a really nice job on the, on the sculpt for this guy. And here's a closer look at Waldorf's head sculpt. And with him too, they did a really good job. There's nothing really wrong with that at all. They really nailed the eyes. I like the way that they're like halfway open, like almost closed. It looks pretty cool. And on the, the hair looks sculpted nice and there's also some shading in there. It's like white with some gray shading. And for him too, his suit came out really nice. Um, it kind of sucks about the leg articulation that it only goes one way, but it does look nice. That's for sure. The back of the suit, nothing really going on, but it's all clean and well done. The details on his suit look really good too, like the buttons and the tie and all that stuff. And I don't, I didn't have the chipping in his, uh, in his wrist as much as Statler, but uh, yeah, the sculpt is very good on both of these guys. So overall, I really, really like these figures. I think the Diamond Select did an amazing job all the way around. I think they really killed it with the sculpt and the paint is really good. And uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting that they chose to do different articulation on the two of them. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure why they did that, but it's not really a flaw or anything. Um, they could both sit, so that's very cool. I, you know, it's just kind of strange that they chose to do different articulation on the legs. 
But uh, yeah, they're very, very cool figures. They're a perfect like representation of these characters. And I really like the balcony. The balcony is super cool. It's it's huge, and they fit in it perfect, and they look really cool in it. And it's fun to have like the other Muppets in there messing around. And uh, yeah, it's very, very cool. And uh, yeah, ho hopefully they put out like the Toys R Us versions of these Muppets figures where you could get it without the accessories. Because I'd love to get these two figures and turn them into Marley and Marley from Muppet Christmas Carol. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully they come out with those. But yeah, anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. Please be sure to check out CoolToyReview.com. Also, if you like the video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that cool stuff. And that's it. Thank you very much. Peace.